Buddy Clay, if I go back, like... Well, as president of the Ghana National Council, um, it is our duty not just to focus on Ghana first and the independence dance anniversaries in the Chicagoland area. It is also our responsibility to educate our own Ghanaian community on health issues. A lot of people die young, a lot of people don't have the opportunity to go to the hospitals because of medical insurance and all that. We have a lot of professionals, nurses, doctors in our midst and they have volunteered to help us educate our own people. Today we are participating in the awareness program. The essence of this uh, uh, program is to kind of alert all of us the need to take care of our bodies. And this is a forum for all of us to come. They are providing all parts of uh, the healthcare program. We have high uh, blood pressure, cholesterol, uh, 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 blood sugar, and other things which I think are necessary for our welfare. Most of us have difficulty visiting the hospital because most of us don't have our own personal uh, doctors because we are, we, are not, we are not insured medically. And so this gives an opportunity for us to come together and check on many things that we need. But I invite all of you, I encourage you, that if this year you couldn't come next year, come and participate. I encourage your friends, uh, your loved ones, your children, all to come. Nobody knows what is in the body. Uh, People are having strokes, people are having heart attacks, people are having diseases, which could be detected over here. So please, I'm encouraging all of us to come, because this is, a, this is an opportunity for us Ghanaians to participate. And we thank God that there, there are Ghanaians who have come here in diaspora who are qualified, nurses, doctors, who are helping us. So if we don't have any, any health care uh, providers, this is a forum that we can all come and share. Carmen, I am with Cairo One Wellness Centers and we're really excited to be here today to support the Community Health and Wellness Expo. At Cairo One, our vision is that every human being is able to discover their full potential. And what that means, it's really about really living your best life. A lot of people have aches and pains and they just kind of deal with them. Um, and we re recognize that if people are feeling their best, they can really enjoy their life to the fullest. So the way that we bring that vision to life is by coming out to community events like this and really love on the people and help to educate on how not only do we help with things like back pain, neck pain, the things that a people would think a chiropractor is all about, but it's really about looking at the entire body as a whole. Your nervous system controls everything in your body and it lives here in your spine. So if your brain is sitting, sending messages through the spine and out through your nerves, telling every part of your body what to do, if your spine is out of alignment, those messages don't get through the way that they should, and we start to see dysfunction in the body. So it's really about making sure this pathway is nice and clear, our body is healthy, and our, and our body can communicate with the way that it's meant to, so that we can live life healthy and to the fullest. My name is Eunice Cromwell, and I am the business manager of the Ghana National Council. I'm also the healthcare coordinator for the Health and Wellness Expo. We are very happy today because we have been able to bring over 300 people from the community to assess their health. It is very, very important for preventative medicine. Today we have had professionals assessing hypertension, which is high blood pressure, diabetes, which is high glucose, and cholesterol. We have different stations where people can visit. We've also managed to bring many vendors out here that can bring positive enforcement to the community. We are excited because it's been a long time coming and we believe from the Ghana National Council that the best way to touch the community is to assess their health. We know that there's been a lot of untimely death in the community, which could have been prevented had they been able to reach out and look for um, preventative measures. That is the main reason why we are here today. We also have a pharmacy team here that is able to write you a prescription if you don't have a prescription. We look forward to what the future holds for us. We know that pretty soon it's, we're gonna even have to get a bigger place because we've had a huge response. And our goal is to make sure that we have a healthier community. Hi, my name is Lavette Owusu-Ansa, the president of the Ghanaian Pharmacists Association. 
We decided to collaborate with Ghana National Council and other healthcare professionals to bring this program to the community, that is our Ghanaian community. We realize that there is a great need for a health care and health education in our community. We believe health is wealth and we believe that uh, everyone should be in charge of their health. Uh, I'm Dustin Freidenberg. I'm one of the physicians at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Jennifer Akufo here is, works with me as a research coordinator. And we're here to represent the lung team at the University of Illinois. Um, I'm a lung doctor who deals with all different types of lung disease, from asthma to COPD to lung cancer. And we have an active research program in which patients with severe heart or lung disease can come to us and, and can get help and potential treatment for those diseases. Um, so we have a lot of different programs at the University of Illinois to help people with their lungs. Yeah, our main reason for being involved really has to do with the simple fact that I'm from the Ghanaian community and I realize how much, you know, a lot of the times when people in our community, you know, get sick or they pass away from something, most of the time the question is, well, what did they pass away from? Um, and it's important to me that people are, you know, exposed to the different types of diseases that are going on and so they also are aware of the different types of uh, options that they have. Hi, uh, my name is Wayne, Wayne Malenga. I'm an RNBSN and uh, I am very, very happy and pleased to be part of the team for the Health and Wellness Expo 2019. What motivates me as a nurse? It's that satisfaction that I get when I check my patient's blood pressure, when I do the screening and see that things are out of the range, knowing that I have prevented that person from having a complication a few hours later, a few days later, a few weeks later, or even a few months later, I feel I am giving back to the community and doing what we're supposed to do to each other as human beings.